Okay, so here we are trying to solve the rational equation. So um, we want to isolate the radical, and to do that I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. So we get x minus 3 is equal to the square root of 9x minus 45. Uh, now to, to remove the radical, we need to um, square it because the square of a square root cancels out. And whatever you do to one side, you always do to the other. So if we um, square the x minus 3, we get x squared minus 3x minus 3x again minus or plus 9. And on the right side, we just get what's inside the radical. We can combine like terms on both sides, or at least on the left side. And then what we want to do, since it's a uh, quadratic, is we want to get um, one side equal to zero. So to do that, I'm going to move everything that's on the right over to the left. All right, so now we get x squared minus 15x plus 54 equals 0. Uh, from here, we should be able to factor. So some factors of 54 are 9 and 6. So if we do x minus 9 and x minus 6, we'll get that negative 15 that we need. Um, and uh, that gives us the answers of x equals 9 or x equals 6. However, we need to check and make sure that um, those work. So we're going to plug, let's plug 9 back into the original equation. And see if it works. So we have 9 is equal to the square root of 81 minus 45 plus 3. 81 minus 45 is 36. So we get 9 equals square root of 36 plus 3. So that's 9 is equal to 6 plus 3, and that's true. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing, but with the 6. So we're going to put 6 in. 6 is equal to the square root of 9 times 6 minus 45 plus 3. And I put a question mark here because we're trying to figure out if it does. So 6 is equal to the square root of 54 minus 45 plus 3. Well, 54 minus 45 is 9. And the square root of 9 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, so that one also works. So 9 and 6 are indeed the answers.